Tonight, we have a few writers with us who know all too well about how hard it is to get a show to New York. To tell us a little bit more about that process, please welcome to the stage the Tony Award-winning lyricist and director, Mr. Richard Maltby, Jr. <laughs> because it hasn't happened yet. Um, it's just sort of beginning, um, and uh, I probably shouldn't have chosen it. But uh, what the heck? Um, this is a, a, a song from a, uh, a show called The Country Wife. It's an adaptation of a restoration comedy. Oh, isn't the world ready for that? Uh, and uh, we are, I, I could tell you the plot, but it would go on forever, and, and uh, I, I, I don't think I will. I will just tell you that it is uh, the dirtiest rest restoration comedy, um, and uh, it involves a, a guy seducing a lot of women. Um, you know, polarity ensues. And, um, so I, I, I'm going to do a, you know, a song from it. Um, I will say. When I first came to New York, Stephen Schwartz may remember this, or maybe be part of this, but uh, uh, lyricists used to sort of entertain themselves by trying to rhyme the un unrhymable word. And if you could sneak it into the song, some un unrhymable word. Um, orange was the center piece of it. Sondheim came up with an orange or a porringer. A porringer being a bowl in which you serve porridge, which he found very hard to fit in <laughs> to any of his songs. Anyway, uh, this song does include my uh, entry in the swing steps, so uh, listen closely. Uh, and uh, this is a, 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 a seduction scene. Um, the, uh, this guy's uh, uh, friend says, he, wants to watch him seduce women, and the guy says, oh, really, no, I don't seduce women, I let them seduce me. And, um, the woman uh, that he is pursuing, the French wife of a uh, businessman, um, looks him over and says, oh, you're so young. I, I, this evening is going to be a waste. And uh, he says, I may be young, but I can say with some surety that for really great taste, what man wants is maturity. She's older than he is. And he says, oh, do you want you some leisure? And you have a taste? For a mouth full of pleasure, well the answer's clear. Ain't it a beaut? But she wants a piece of overripe fruit. <laughs> oh, do you think that you'll? Huh? <laughs> there you go again. Orange. No. <laughs> That you'll sicken if you eat a peach that's hung past the picket. Well, truth to tell, the question is moot. What you want a piece of overripe fruit? What you want a piece of overripe fruit? Some folks like their melons firm, like their apples tinged with green. Some folks like bananas hard. But there are joys these folks never have seen. Oh, there's a sweetness that lingers when you feel the juice kind of ooze through your fingers. 
something sweet to lick and sticky to lick. What she wants a piece of over right. <laughs> the girl is, the woman is actually beginning to plot smell. <laughs> oh, yes. I know it feels far. Yes, I know it feels foreign just to suck a weak old Mandarin orange. <laughs> Something special, well, shoot. What you want's a piece of overripe fruit. So, lady, do not lose heart if your mango is far from fresh. It's still sweet, but the bestest part is you can stick your tongue right into its flesh. Oh. The berries when your mouth is full. Yesterday's cherries. Things break while well, I'm sure. What you want a piece of override. What you want a piece of override. What you want a piece of override fruit. Oh, yeah.